Here we have a new 2023 Nissan Murano. And this one comes in the platinum trim level. This comes in the beautiful ember scarlet tri coat on cashmere leather interior. And the powertrain consists of a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6. Made it with a CVT. And that gets us 260 horsepower, 240 pound feet of torque. So as we get to the front end here, pretty much everything carries over from 2022. We have that same front fascia, LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights, and LED fog lights. But this color just looks so stunning in. And let's check out these wheels here. These are going to be 20 inch aluminum wheels. We get passive keyless entry. And then here we have the controls for the power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. Then we have memory seating as well. And we do have one touch auto up and down for the driver and front passenger, which I appreciate. And I really love this door trim here. That looks really nice. And it really goes good with this cashmere here. And then we have a cup holder down here, little storage pocket there. And there are the controls for the heated steering wheel, traction control, power lift gate, safety shield. Gonna open that. And there is our driver's seat, which has power and power lumbar support. And I really love that stitching here in the insert. Looks really nice. But next, let's check out this rear seat room. So hopping in here, decent leg room here. I'm 6'3", and I have the seat in front of me adjusted for someone of my size. But also, I could lean the seat back a little bit more and be in better shape. And there's a view of the front from back here. And I like that you do have pockets on both sides in this Murano. And then we have two stage heated seats for the outboard passengers. And then we have a USB-C, USB-A charge port there. Two AC vents there. And as I fold this down, we do have a nice pocket here, two cup holders here. But next, let's go ahead and take a look at the back seat or the cargo space, excuse me. Before we go there, just gonna take a quick peek. There's our gas tank and there's a gas cap there. And we do have to hit that latch from up front. There's the back end there, LED tail lights. We have the floor mats here, but pretty generous cargo space back here. Then you can set this up if you want to. Gotta pull it up right there on either side. Just kind of difficult for me to do, but you can set that up like that and it's pretty easy to retract it. But you can pull this here and then that folds that seat flat when the front seats are up far enough. And you have one on either side. And then to fold that up, you just pop it back into place until it locks. And if you want even more room, you pull this strap here. And that's what I was trying to do earlier. You can actually lean the seat back. And if I had had that same room over there, I'd have a lot more space because you can see that it actually retracts the seat bottom and the seat back. Get passive keyless on the front passenger side. And then here we have our power front passenger seat. Really like the look of these seats though. And before we check out the engine bay, let's go ahead and take a quick look at this window sticker. It's 
So this one's stickers for 49, 635. But look at all these standard options here. So you get quite a bit. And like I said, can't get over how beautiful the red is. But now let's pop this hood. And there's that 3.6 liter, 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6, excuse me. And now we're gonna hop in the driver's seat here. Finally out of that wind and road noise. So we can get this really nice heated Leather wrapped steering wheel feels really nice, really thick padding. I like that. And it's easy to put my hand pretty much anywhere throughout the steering wheel. But over here, this radio carries over. We have that screen there. There's a navigation screen. And then we get AM, FM, XM, along with Bluetooth audio. We still have a CD drive, which is nice. And we have USB ports for the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay we can use. There's our home page there. And of course with XM setup, we can have XM traffic, sports, stocks, and we can customize the actual home menu as well. And all of our quick shortcuts here. I like we have actual buttons to get back to the main menu though. <clears throat> There's our backup camera with our bird's eye view. And down here, I'm just going to show you the dual zone automatic climate controls. We can set the dual and then we can just cut it off with the button, which I really like. Don't have to jump through hoops. But there are those USB ports. And I like that we get a USB C and then a USB A input along with an aux. Little storage in here, two cup holders, and then for the shifter, hit this button back here, pull down, reverse, neutral drive, and then we can slap over here and then manually shift. And then we have heated cooled seats, so that's the highest setting on heat, second, first, then we have off, and then for cooled, one, two, three, and we have that for either the driver or the front passenger there. And then here's our center console cubby space. Pretty good size actually, really deep. And I like that we get LED dome lights here, sunglasses there, universal garage door transmitter on the rear view mirror. And then we do have a one touch tilt and sliding sunroof there a really nice size there's a view of the back seat from up here and there's our glove compartment and we do get owner's manuals in here and I really do love this it's hard to see it up here because of the lighting, but this trim here, I just love to have it and how it goes throughout and then it meets the door panel there. Really, really nice. And then we do have that Bose sound system. So we have tweeters and the A-pillars up here, door speakers, and then of course speakers throughout. But back to the steering wheel here, we use this to go through our gauge cluster and that middle part is going to be all digital. And then we can toggle our sources through our radio. And then we have volume controls here. And then here we have our presets. We can go through here. And voice recognition controls there. 
And then the right side, we do have our adaptive cruise, which we can adjust all that here, including the gap adjust for that. And then headlamp controls over here, windshield wiper controls here. And there we have push button start. And finally, here's our key fob with remote start. 